I seen another story that was trending. The Mendez brothers. Mm. They said they're going to look back into that case because they might need to get let up out that joint. Yeah. Now, we all know that was one of the biggest cases ever. Apparently, these two twins done, done, done smoked their own parents, killed their own parents. And, you know, they got convicted. It was a big trial. You got to watch it on TV. It's all type of documentaries. You probably could jump on Netflix right now. Mm -hmm. They done, done reenactments and movies. They just, a they whole just movie, all it, yeah. type of shit. And now they're saying that, hey, the parents were allegedly molesting, doing all type of unfathomable things to the kids. Mm -hmm. The mom was allowing the dad to do it. That's why they took the two parents out. And people are saying, hey, let them out because we don't see nothing wrong with that. But... It's kind of a slippery slope because how many times we done seen people who were victims kill their um, attacker and they go to jail. I forget her name, but Cynthia something. There's a documentary about her. She was like a, a sort of a, she went home with a man and she killed him and then she went to jail for years because of that. But he was trying to uh, rape her and when she killed him, she ended up going to jail. That's what I'm getting at. It's like Cynthia Brown or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Bullshit. All this retroactive facts, right? Revisionist history. Two swell rich kids mm. were angry with their parents and killed them. Now your dad was molesting you and your mom. All that teaches you to say, no, because you killed your mom. Now they've been saying you, it. They were saying it during the trial or whatever the case. They were saying that during the, the trial or whatever the case. But regardless, everybody got reasons of why like they every, killed. Everybody, but, everybody got reasons of why they killed. So I don't, like, care if they... If you can free them, whatever the case is, but free all my niggas then. <laughs> <laughs> free the set. Free the set. Free the homies, cuz. You're brave enough to kill, but you're not brave enough to go to the police and tell And that's exactly what they're going to say. They're, they're, they're using uh, this just to make more money off their damn story. So that's what I was going to say. I think it's clout because the documentary, or not the documentary, there is a documentary dropping on Netflix, but they just dropped... They just dropped a nine episode reenactment, right. like with dramatizations and things like that. And so you see Kim Kardashian attached to it as well. And it's like, to me, it sounds like another cash grab. Somehow, some way, if she's able to get him out, there's some deal in the works. That's the, I, I, that's the I, I, only I'm reason not, why they're getting out. I'm not going to fault her too much because she was doing a lot of work of going to prisons that a lot of people didn't, didn't know. If you didn't know, Kim K has gone to prison, yeah. she's visited prisons. And that shined light on a lot of different prisons and made things easier for a lot of prisoners. And she got people actually they, out of prison. So I don't, I can't just fall her all the way and saying she's not doing what she's doing. For whatever reason she's doing it, if they get out or whoever she gets out, it's, it's, it's in good. It's they in probably, good hold on, they probably won't let them out. They probably won't let them out. They're only doing it because of the documentary about the drop. They need to let out R. Kelly. They need to let out Puffy because everybody. Puffy could say, well, I was molested when I was little, so I was a victim. I victimized other people. True. This is a, like your brother said, he's a slip, it's a slippery slope. It sets a horrible precedent. You killed your parents, bro. Before you called 911, you picked up a shotgun. Y'all went shopping for guns. Yeah, y'all premeditated <laughs> the fuck but out this, of But this what made it look yeah. crazy. Is shit, they went out on the town splurging after that. That nigga had a like, hey, one nigga had a toupee on his head. I'm like, nigga ain't got no hair at 14. Would you would you be they went out there with a the bad molesting you for years? No, bro. You had the ability I don't to think go. if you had the ability to get in a fucking sports car and drive around Malibu and go buy guns, y'all got a pocket full of money, bro. You could have got away from that situation. Uh, let me play devil's advocate because a lot of the people who end up being victimized, they do go to the police and the police don't listen to their Man, cries. Yeah, some, and then we see, no, I'm just saying. I'm going to kill you, this mom. Them the type of niggas that we we've seen with. this. Yeah, this type of niggas we We've seen with. this happen before where people go to the police, the police send them right back to the, pe the very people they're reporting on True. and they get done dirty. They get killed anyway, even though they already went to the police. We've seen it happen a lot of motherfucking times. Not saying that this is the case because I don't know how to feel about it because who's saying that this new information is groundbreaking enough for them to get out when I know a lot of niggas who done killed in self-defense, we seen a lot of females who done killed their rapists in self-defense, and they in jail, and they're not getting let out. So what make these two motherfuckers so special that they murk their parents? Like, what, what groundbreaking info? Because there's a lot of people that need to get broken out if that's the case. Like y'all said, this look like another cash grab. Happily ever after Kim Kardashian, she done done it again. They, they throwing her name in the Diddy case, so she need another good... I mean, I don't know. This is all alleged. Shout out to Kim for getting niggas out, though. Can I give a little <laughs> biblical insight? There's a scripture out of Ecclesiastes 4.12 that says, Though one may be overpowered, two together can defend themselves. It was two teenage males 
Yeah. Against one dad. Y'all can smoke, bro, and go premeditate and plot on me, but one of y'all getting dicked in the booty and the other one laying over there listening to your dad. Bro, it's <laughs> bull crap. There's no way this adds up to anything other than entitled ass rich kids who was like, I don't like the rules my parents made for me. My dad might bully. Let's say the dad bullied him. He boy. probably slapped him around, yeah. Him around you piece of shit. Dad. You know, that, that kind of crazy bro. shit. <laughs> These dudes are just it's entitlement. That is the biggest disease in America, and for rich people, it's been in their community more than anybody. That's why you see rich people make their kids do crazy rituals and shit just to like kind of kill that entitled like demon inside of them. The Menendez, Menendez brothers are guilty of sin. The premeditated <laughs> guilty of sin is crazy. We sin. all do, sin. Do you believe? Do you believe? Uh, I ain't <laughs> help nobody. Hey, no, nah, but do you believe? Nobody's mom's worse than mine. Do you believe fear can paralyze people? Man, I'm just you saying it. Kill somebody if you paralyze. I know on this one. That's not what I'm saying. So you're saying that they never struck back at some point. I now, get what you're saying. You can get, you can put a cat in the corner for so long before it eventually fight back. Fear can over consume somebody to where these people can't even react to. And it's their kids. parents, they're younger. And it's your father. I, yeah. If 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 I. I don't believe, I know fathers who got two sons and probably could beat the shit out of both of them at the same damn Facts. time. Facts. So it ain't, it ain't. It, That's a fact. I, I'm just yeah. It don't matter. You, I brought you in the world. I'm, I'm grown, fucking Grown man over. strength is a little bit different too. Be, because yeah, yeah. Your, your respect and your admiration for your father and, and you grow up fearing that authority, even if you can't really whoop him, you can be paralyzed like, damn, this is my dad. Yeah. There's no way my son finna That's whoop true, me. That's true, bro. Like, That's what true. you mean? So now, gets, so now you have no point. You have no point but to maybe plot and scheme and, and catch somebody off guard because you know nine times out of ten coming just straight up is not it's not gonna happen. I'm not justifying okay, nothing. Did, I'm just saying that's how that's how people just, plot. It was just why you took your because they saying she, she was allowing it. it. She that, was a part of it. That's fine, but you that's what I'm trying to tell you. They killed her because they wanted that bread. Yeah. Self defense <laughs> is like if you come at me with a knife and I kill you. Self defense is like it's not you even. Come at, what, just one thing. If you come at me with a knife and I kill you, then I kill this nigga for watching you. They was in the that's living room. <laughs> I mean, you can say what you want, nigga. If you do something to me and somebody was there helping and I'm coming to demand you down, guess what? I'm getting that person but that was with you. Helping, she just wasn't doing you. This is my mom, Aiden and Betty. We don't it know. Ain't hold you down. Even if you, you're he not going to give me no help, you're not trying to stop it. You're not even going after him. Of course, nigga, fuck both of y'all well, at that point. What? What's that shit? Okay. Listen. Yeah. Listen, niggas what? Had, Hold on. Niggas is eating caviar niggas, after niggas, the murder. No, That's what? crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's that movie? What's the movie? Uh, Radio Flyer with the little boys. The drunk dad was coming home beating their ass and beating the mom ass. But the mom wind up helping to free them and get them up out of there. So if that's happening to you and moms is like sitting back drinking, watching it happen... Nigga, I'm finna, I'm finna kill moms too. Nah. She going to I'm finna right. unalive like moms too. Because check this out. Fuck if, is it, you talking it, it, about? That don't, that don't make sense to me only because if you've seen how, how if you're so abused, then you would know that moms is right. is just as abused as you. Because he he not skipping her if he's if he hitting you on the way out, he for sure getting her a little bit. Do we know this for it to be fact? I mean, oh, this, this is this is a this theory. Is an assumption. How, why why do he gotta abuse moms if she in on it? That's that's she, that's that's his partner. Because he was drinking, she was already she was already. He done. don't have to do it. Moms is giving it to him willingly. Hey, on the he show, on the show, she, she probably. Was, she was by the window and them, shit, drinking Letting them know, Sad. like, yeah, this okay type shit. Bro, like, bitch, so what you out of here to? Them niggas look crazy. Grown ass niggas. What age did it start happening? Six. <laughs> it, that plays a part. If I, if, I, if I mentally break you at a young you age, a it don't matter how big you get. It's like a bear. You put a bear in a cage for 20 years, and then you free it. That bear's still gonna walk that circumference of that cage because it's mentally the way the still in the cage. I was about to say that. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you bigger, you stronger, and you spook, nigga. Nigga, they come break you down. Nah, they, nah it, it ain't none of that. I think they killed them yeah, for that bread. I ain't saying just you. I'm just saying niggas in general. All you gotta do is look at the Menendez brothers in real time, like when they was in court. Bro, them niggas is guilty, bro. These niggas look like they plotted that. They don't look like the straw. It's not, it's not, it's not, well, it's not about if they plot it. What it is, is it's, it's one of them. how long this shit could have been going on before, and now we finally got our get back. One of them was weak it's as fuck. Terrible. One of them was weak as fuck. The other one was, the one other one was really with the shit. The other one was weak as fuck and just followed him along. And, and followed him along, and now they both in there together. Like they killed moms because they wanted the bread. They was going to kill pops. 
once they killed pops, they was going to kill moms, get the bread, and I don't, they went to get caviar, whatever they thought they was going to do. They didn't think it out right. Then you had the damn therapist recording everything. So he had he already had him on tape. Uh, the weaker one, I had already copped to it. Like, yeah, we, we killed him. So it was... It, I mean, we go you, see. You, 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 in, in those therapist tapes that were, were used, obviously they are recorded. They couldn't be used. He wholeheartedly admitted that they did it, and he we're couldn't, he couldn't take it no more. No, but what I'm saying is that during those tapes, he never mentioned that he was abused. Yeah. Niggas was up. And that was before, that was before <laughs> they knew the case. Them they, niggas they, was up. They knew they was guilty. Hey, hey, if you look at them in court, they looking hard as a motherfucker. Like, yeah, I'm sure again. Them niggas got that look. Like, they was up. You, what do you think? What do you think turned people into killers? So they're sociopaths. What do you think turns into them though? Can, can, can I, I be honest? Wait, what, I, I, what I think turned them into killers was entitlement. No, what uh, turns what people, not what them? What turns people into killers? That's what I'm telling you. Entitlement can turn you into a killer. You think entitlement? I know it. Rich people kill people all the time. What about regular everyday people? I think fear, fear you know, uh, trauma can keep, turn you into that. But when you, you just said they wasn't scared. Rich people turn. <laughs> listen. <laughs> Sometimes when you got everything, you become a sociopath. I'm sorry. You have you become a Nigga sociopath. Whistling. You lose the ability to relate to people on an emotional level. And I think that's what happened with the Menendez brothers. They've been super rich, kids, they got everything they want. Their dad was like that barrier. He was the rule in their life. Like, I don't give a fuck what you said. I make the rules in here. He was the only thing. Man, listen. Hold on. And then when you look at that age, when you look at that age, right? Like, that's the age when, how old are they? 17, 18, something like that? Age didn't start. Hold on, hold on. You, 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 a lot of teens, especially ones that are in those areas, have that this is the end of the world complex over everything. So I do think that they could have got to a point where they just said, fuck it. We're going to, like he's saying, just let shit fly and, and whatever's going to happen. Fuck it. We're going out together, bro. Like, man, that, let's that, that's see. What, that's what I think. Let's see when the facts. Let's see when the new facts come out, if they innocent or not. Until then, we still, we just speculating at this point. We're going to see, though. But if they free them, I got a long list of names that need to be freed as well. So let's, let's, let's keep it there. You feel me? Okay. I'm just saying, it's like when the two young lions come of age and the big male lion daddy is like, they're like, we got to get rid of this motherfucker. He, he fucking shit up. He's fucking They ain't got to get rid of the lion getting rid of your ass, nigga. Get the fuck on. <laughs> The <laughs> male line, line nigga is getting rid of his kids. Get the line. fuck out of here, nigga. Other line. They tell me they say, no, none of that. Pops ain't going for none of that. Get and, the fuck on. And that's exactly what they was thinking.